This is Moz William here. Thank you for watching this video and welcome back to my channel MW Design Strategies. And in this video, I will show you how you can create your Figma, smart Figma animation design right in Figma. And uh, someone requested me in my previous video that how you can uh, create, how you can move the sliders in Figma. So right now in this video, I will show you how you can do this in the exact way. So uh, watch, this, watch this video until the end. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe. So let's get started with this tutorial. I will show you how you can do this so first uh, let me just show you how you how I have made it in Figma so you can see the sliders how it moves here so same exact way you can do this yourself in your designs in your project or in your organization pro projects so let me just show you how you can do this in Figma so you can see the smoothness of these sliders how it's go how it's moving right so first of all, first of all what we have to do just I'm just show you in my file how you can do this first of all create a new frame as always what we always do so take a first of all take a new uh, a size right and it should be I think 14 1440 uh, and you can choose 900 so without wasting any time just showing you the prototype okay so for this i am just copying my stuff from my file so these are some layers that we have to that we need here okay and another thing we need is this images i'm just showing you quickly because uh, i don't want to make i don't want to waste any time and uh, just showing you what I want to show in this video right so for this slider we have to adjust it a little bit so for this we have to adjust it okay and uh, you can just uh, make it similar like this and give a give the proper space between these sliders okay and for example it should be one more slide should be here so yeah here we go now what we have to create is the rectangle here okay and round it accordingly make it back okay and if you don't know how to make it in back side then you can check out my other videos i have explained all the things everything in that videos in those videos i have explained everything right so we have to make it wide proper now enable the effects make it blur okay and make it background blur 90 or 94 is okay and now reduce the opacity like this now the same exact shape we have created here now we have what we have to do is to write some text upon this and also uh, enable some also add some arrows front forward and backward arrows so go to plugins like Onify, and here we have to install uh, get the icons forward right forward and backward icons so you can see there are multiple icons for forward and you can get anyone whatever you like okay and uh, same for backward but I already have so I'm just getting it from my file and so we no longer need to download or install any other you know icons right so that would also be easy for you to see everything quickly right because animation is the is our main agenda for this video so we have i'm going to show you everything quickly here right just a little bit i have to adjust this text color and now like this 
okay and uh, now here we are now we can make the prototype right so for prototyping for smart uh, figma prototyping what you have to do is to duplicate this layer you can uh, you can uh, command d or just you can click on option and drag it like this so it's all upon you you can do anything whatever you like and now what we have to do is to change this image right so for image i'm quickly uh, copying another image from my file okay to show you everything quickly okay and now adjust your image exactly where you have your previous image your previous food image or any other image for your project and now delete the previous backward image adjust it accordingly okay align it accordingly now what we have to do is uh, we also have to change the images here so for this uh, I'm getting this one these are some images because we have to mm, always keep the flow like this okay so remove this previous images on the left hand side you can add this image and uh, on the right hand side you can add this image these images right and now i'm showing you how you can do this so once you get this exact image now we have to create a prototype here uh, i think it's a little bit alignment issue so let me just adjust it so make sure that you have all the proper alignment everything is proper to sh see the exact prototype smooth prototyping right smooth smart animation prototyping so i think now we are a little bit good to go right and now on the prototyping side now i'm showing you how you can do this on the prototyping side what you have to do is you have to you know just click on these arrows and uh, if you are seeing this plus when you hover here you will see this plus and drag it drag it like this and attach to the next frame and here you have to adjust the smart animation now make it linear make it 700 milliseconds to see the smoothness and uh, it should be on click always right and same here with this with this arrow this backward arrow now same exact animation settings you have to make it exact 700 millisecond linear and smart animation on click and now it's you know it's good now we can play this and you will see the exact prototyping so same with this forward you can uh, make it like this right like this and uh, we have to just little bit uh, we have to adjust the ranking so it should be on the second and it should be on first right and now we will play this and you will see the exact prototyping so for playing this we have to uh, give the play here right the starting play here so right now it's here flow one so we will give it like this and now we will play this play the prototyping and you will see the exact uh, sliders which will be moving like this right so that's how we can make this animation design in figma it's a little bit you know i have uh, actually i have a uh, little bit made some mistakes so that's why it's not moving like it's just disappear so for moving this exact you have to make you have to make sure that you have adjusted all the all this you know all your images more efficient way right and now 
if you see my previous prototype it's always it's better right and one more thing i want to show you how you can fix this uh, how you can fix this uh, social media icons here so for this what we have to do uh, let me show you how i have done this You can see the prototype first right and now uh, let me show you how you can do this is to uh, wait a second right okay so here but we now you can see this social media is moving and now when I hover here you will see these you know hover effects so the exact same thing you can make in your own design but you have to do for this just you have to copy your social media icon outside in the frames right like here but i have done here so same thing you have to do and now make it fix if you're seeing this constraint section just add your social media icon and see the constraint right see the constraints here and you have to fix this position fix position when scroll, scrolling right you have to make sure that you have ticked this for fixing this social media and all this header so make sure that you have to click on check out check this box right fix the position when scrolling right and for hovering you can uh, just click your, your social media icon go to prototype and uh, you will see there is a uh, while hovering if I, uh, pro time setting I have made like uh, let me show you again how you can do this this is our social media Facebook icon and uh, this is arrow and when I ho uh, when I drag it and att attach it here you will see the functionality you have to always overlay should be manual it should not be top left or center it should be manual always and uh, animation should be dissolve and when you close and you have to click this checkbox close when clicking outside so what will happen when you like here what will happen when you uh, click uh, when you hover your uh, arrow outside it will again appears the same right so make sure that you have checked this box and now we can uh, you can do the same thing in your own design right like this this effect you can give in your own design and it should be fixed right so that's how we can make the animation design the animation smart figma animation in figma so that's how we can do this so hope you like this video and uh, really learn how you can do this in figma so if you like this video then you know please hit the thumbs up also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet also like this video share this video and keep going thank you so much for watching this video